All right. Well, hi. Uh, I go by as unique on Twitch. Uh, I go by as Salix on various other servers. Uh, you know, the whole shebang. Anyway, um, I am back. I got Gunbreaker to level 90. In fact, I got every single roll <laughs> um, that I need for the roll quest to level 90. I am working on Summoner and Scholar because I just want to have it around for funsies. But yeah, um, we should be hopefully be able to steamroll through these roll quests here soon enough. Today we we'll, we finished up uh, in our first roll quest stream. We finished up healer. In the second stream, we'll be doing a uh, tank, which involves Gridania. I have heard some very mixed feelings about this quest line. We'll see how long my patience holds. Yeah, because we all know how I, my character as a Dusk White, probably feels about Gridania. So. The Gridanian Delegate is in urgent need of a stout defender to help combat a new threat to his homeland. I have come on behalf of the Twin Adders to enlist the aid of accomplished fighters. The small folk cower in their homes for fear of an unprecedented threat to the Twelve's Wood. A blasphemy. It strikes quickly and with deadly precision before returning to the shadows whence it came. Try as we might, we have yet to devise a means to track it, much less slay it. Several brave souls search for it even now, but their chances would improve greatly if they had a stout protector by their side. Judging by your reputation, I dare say you're precisely the man we seek. What say you? Will you serve as the shield that stands between Gridania and certain doom? Protecting the realm is pretty much what I do. I will take that as an enthusiastic yes. Make haste to the adder's nest and report to my superior. Also, can I say how much I love the Gunbreaker level 90 outfit? <laughs> yeah, I have some fending gear on here. Not the best. It's just Moonward gear. Which right now is, you know, the best, but it will become irrelevant here in a week. Do, do. Uh, we are off to the Order of the Twin Hour. I don't really have much to say, except I'm just very worried for Gridania. Our liaison at Razad Han sent word of your arrival, but I can scarcely believe our luck. Are you truly here to help us bring this wicked blasphemy to heal? Then there is hope for us yet. I shall fetch the Elder Seed Seer at once. She is leading the hunt, and I'm certain she'll be most eager to see you. Mm -hmm. Hello. Here you are. I, I wonder how, what my character's thinking at this moment, talking to her. Full glad am I to welcome you in good health and a good spirit, Salix. On behalf of all of Gridania, allow me to thank you to rising to our def defense yet again. You will forgive me for eschewing further formalities as the time is of the essence. I shall share with you what little we know of this elusive scourge. Following the events in Thavnair, we received a report that an unidentified man had fallen into fits on the road before transforming into a beast most foul, a blasphemy we soon determined. My witnesses? His subsequent attack spoke of patterns on its skin reminiscent of heavy chains, and thus we've named it Gleipnir, for the creature of legend. It emerges from the brush without warning, bringing destruction and tragedy to those unfortunate enough to be near. Ere we could respond, it retreats into hiding, leaving no trace for us to follow. The elementals cry for out for us to rid of the forest of this wicked presence, yet even if we tracked it to its lair, I fear besting the beast would be no simple matter. Oh, the elementals are crying once again. Hello, Nada. Yeah, I, you did this roll quest line, didn't you? You tanked for your MSQ. <laughs> But yeah, um, my Elizabeth is a Dusk White, and uh, I also, myself, I just don't know exactly how to feel about Connie Senna versus the other Alliance reader leaders. And considering how much people say how they dislike the Tequitain quest line, I'm worried. 
The wounds of Gleipnir's victims are tainted by corruption. We can but conclude that the fiend's fangs, claws, and horns are all imbued with a powerful poison. The smallest scratch sends the afflicted into fits, and death soon follows. Mayhap you know of the creeping death. The effect of Gleipnir's vile poison may bear more than a passing similarity to the systems of that deadly plague. It swept through the Twelveswood many years ago. The sick found their skin covered in chain-like patterns and spent their final moments in excruciating pain. It was long before I came to Gridania, but people still speak of it with dread. Is it true that the disease spared not a single cure? Very nearly, yes. Before the remainder were taken, we were able to devise a cure from the Glimpse Room. Slow though it was, the scar of this tragedy would then begin to heal. Leipnir threatens to reopen old wounds, I fear, yet despite the similarities between the Blasphemy's corruption and the Creeping Death's marks, it is unclear how these two phenomena are related, if at all. Both Conjury and White Magic have failed to abate the poison's spread. To confront Gleipnir now would place our soldiers at risk of grievous injury. Forgive me, Elder Seed Seer, but this appears to be urgent. Yeah, I, I, I never, I don't, I don't, I don't think I'm ever gonna figure out how I feel about this lady. <laughs> what again? Gleipnir is struck once more in the North Shroud. The Whalers came too late to see the beast for themselves, but the man it attacked yet lives. They are bringing him to Falgord Float as we speak. Then we must meet them there. Will you accompany us, Salix? Athel Mayor will be able to surprise us of the details upon our arrival. We are to speak with Athel Mayor. It's really funny because I did start in Gridania, but. No, I, I didn't start in Gridania. I started in Ulda. My free company is allied with Limza, but my grand company is Gridania. It's kind of a hot mess. What do you have to say? We cannot say for certain Gleipnir has quit this place. Stay on your guard. Word of the attack has yet to spread among the populace. They remain calm for now. Elder Seed Seer, you honor us with your presence. I cannot thank you enough for coming all this way. Given the dire circumstances, I would not leave this to another. Where is the wounded man? Outside of the blobbing cork, being attended to by one of our healers. He's a capable healer, but I worry this is beyond his abilities. I shall do all in my power to aid him. I in turn may be of need of assistance as well. I ask that you stay close, both of you. I'm mad that we got stuck with the boring cure man. Isn't there an Ellison lady with like braided hair? She's way more interesting looking than this cure man. Who we're stuck with. Hello. That he survived his encounter with Gleipnir speaks to his fortitude. I know not if he can be saved, but if we can at least allay his suffering, we must. Oh my. He clings to life, albeit barely. We must try to ease his pain. He's har a hardy soul, but I'm uh, utterly at a loss. While I manage to heal his wounds, the poison lingers. I fear the worst is yet to come. When I removed his clothes for treatment, I recognized the chains. If this is indeed the creeping death. Do not lose heart. I shall spare no effort. Rest for now. We may have need of your talents again ere long. She goes, man. She goes. A bloody swarm of them. That came from the East Gate. Chigos are known as the cre carriers of the Creeping Death. The villagers are on edge. If they think the Vilekin Harbingers are of... If they think the Vilekin vile vile Harbingers of another plague, they may panic. Pray see to the Chigos. I shall remain here with the victim.
Oh my lord. Wait, do you think Odin's gonna pop? <laughs> Hello? They were near Alder Springs, a whole swarm of them, bringing the creeping death like it is not. Oh my god. He looks like Ardbert, but even shorter than Ardbert. Alright, let's go and not get bitten. Defeat the Chigos. Hello? Sweaty Ardbert. Where are they? Oh my god, they're gonna die! Hello? Thank you, Faded Circle. Oh my- Ow, oh, there's more! Goodbye. I love being overgeared. There's more! Oh, I can't even reach them all. So the bugs carry the plague? Ew. Twelve be praised. I come bearing a cure for the creeping death, but it's of little use against actual death. He has a cure? I'd heard of a tale of a man suffering from uncommon pains of Falgord float. since an opportunity for philanthropy and a touch of profit, I'll admit. But if you, if what you say is true, his de condition demands a much swifter pair of feet than mine. Alright, we'll deliver it. You saved my life, and one good turn deserves another. I only hope the cure works as well as I pur purported. Goodbye. What are we doing with this quest? If I can ever talk to the right NPC. Thank you for calling the Chigos. Alas, our patient's condition has yet to improve, and it is all we can do to help him from succumbing to the poison. Here you go. Oh look, Odin actually popped. I know this medicine. It was once used to treat the creeping death. Given his symptoms, it may very well prove effective here as well. It works upon the body quite quickly, as I recall. Oh my. Hold on just a while longer, my friend. The medicine will soon relieve your pain. Oh my. Maybe this is different. The man shrieks, die in his throat as his body is racked by violent convulsions. He then falls still and quiet as if his breath was snatched from his chest. They didn't want to show the death on screen. Yeah, we never find out. Odin was just a fate that they decided that they brought back as a Final Fantasy XI boss in Eureka and then they brought it back in MSQ. Twelve have mercy. At the very least, his suffering is over. Had we been quicker to deliver the medicine, would he have lived? Nay, I think not. He was doomed from the moment the poison entered his blood, as will the others be if we do not soon gain an understanding of our foe. Let this tragedy not be in vain, but serve as a lesson. Though the effects of Gleipnir's corruption resemble the creeping death, it is clear that the two shared little else in common. The poison burns through the body more quickly than any disease. Too deadly is it to be borne by creatures so fragile as Chigos, or any other besides. Then that is one less possibility that people need to fear. It is the shame a life was lost, but this knowledge may help us ensure that others are not. Spread word, but do so with delicacy. In these troubled times, fear and despair can drive even the goodliest of souls to desperate ends. 
Leipnir is the only blasphemy known to us in Gridania, for now. We must do our utmost to stop him from sowing further discord. Understood, Elder Seedseer. I'll give this man a proper burial before sh sharing what we've discovered. Oop, they talked about Odin. Ascertaining Gleipnir's whereabouts is still a primary concern. Let us return to the Adder's Nest, where information shall be our most reliable weapon in the days ahead. There is no better place to acquire it. Goodbye. So, about Odin. I believe it is explained in Eureka specifically that Odin is a... Uh, the weapon is the primal for Odin. <laughs> it's hard to explain, but so long as the weapon exists and whoever kills it, uh, Odin will continue to exist or some crap like that. If they talk about it in Eureka's story, I don't know. It's basically the way that the weapon primals also work in Eureka. I think. I honestly don't know. I need to keep track a little. There's lore out there about what the heck happened to, for Odin to be summoned in the first place. Leipnir has been sighted in various locales. Though we are reviewing every report, we suspect most are erroneous. Fear has a way of making one jump at shadows. It will make some time before we have determined which reports merit a more involved investigation. Well, guess what? I'm level 890. <laughs> We have followed up on every report concerning Gleipnir, even those that beggared belief. The most promising suggests the Blasphemy is currently stalking the South Shroud. We are to proceed more at once. The Elder Seer is already en route to Roots Lake. Let us not keep her waiting. I'm glad to already be done with the first quest. The South Shroud, huh? Why is it- why is the weather like this here, too? I guess- Oh wait- oh, I guess all the Shroud is like this, isn't it? When Odin's up. Reading, Salix. As luck would have it, my sister, Raya O, frequents Camp Tranquil. We would do well to meet with her first, for she may have knowledge of this threat that can aid us in our search. So, I've done... Um, I've done the White Mage quest, so Raya Osena will be able to recognize me, no problem. Hopefully. It has been too long, Raya O. If you read Tales from the Twilight... There is a story featuring Connie Senna and the siblings in there too, and what they were up to during post Shadowbringers. <laughs> Connie, I was, I was afraid the situation might force your arrival. Would that this reunion be under more joyous circumstances? It is heartening to see her joined by a bearer of Atoa's will. Unfortunately, Gleipnir's poison cannot be cured by any healing force known to us. As I'm sure you have already learned, nevertheless, I have faith that together we will find a way to defeat it. At least she remembers us. I like that small detail. Every moment is crucial, so let us dispense with further pleasantries. Have you received word of Gleipnir's whereabouts? Have. It recently ambushed a poor traveler who succumbed to his wounds soon thereafter. A tragic and increasingly common tale. No others in Camp Tranquil have come to harm, but some claim they feel a presence in the distant trees, staring at them with a malicious intensity. They struggle to find the courage to venture beyond the safety of the camp. While its victims exhibit symptoms reminiscent of the creeping death, Gleipnir's corruption seems to only affect those who have been assaulted by the blasphemy itself. We have yet to confirm a single instance of it spreading from one individual to another. 
That's somewhat reassuring, it, but it will provide little comfort to the people here, I think. If Gleipnir comes, any defense we mount will come at a great cost. Those who fall wounded will invariably die. I'm at a loss, and <laughs> then the Mughals shaking their heads. I'm at a loss, and the people under my care can see it. They grow tense and bicker amongst themselves. Some even accuse me of standing idly by while the monster foams free, as if I'm not doing all that I can. I... I apologize. Would that I had come to you sooner, would that there were more I could offer you. Oh my god. What about the elementals? <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. The elementals cry out for succor as loudly as the people do. This I know you feel, Connie. Life near poses a threat to all life in the Twelve's Wood, and as such, we should face it as one. Their strength has won since the calamity, and I am reluctant to impose upon them. Nay, as seed seers, is our duty to ex first expand every option available to us and spare them no further distress. Once we have laid low the blasphemy, the elementals will be at peace. Well then, how do you propose we go about that? First, allow me to speak with the people here and assure them that all will be well, that Gridania is resolved to weather this storm remain steadfast. No road is closed to those true of heart. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised that you'd begin with an earnest and heartfelt appeal. For my part, I shall stretch out to Arun. Perhaps together, we can find a way to offer similar comfort to the elementals. I have no doubt that we will require their assistance in the days ahead. Thank you, sister. May the Twelve watch over you and keep you both. May I trouble you to accompany me. The presence of a storied hero would surely lead, lead, lend credence to my claims so that the people's difficulties will soon be at an end. While you attend to that, I shall gather what information I can from the wood whaler stationed here. Pray look for me at the camp proper when you have finished. So from what I can tell so far, if you're a fan of the of Realm Reborn and the Heaven's Ward White Mage quests, this is this will literally be right up your alley, for if White Mage quests specifically. If we are to convince the people that they need not live in fear of Gleipnir, then my words alone may ins be insufficient. You, on the other hand, are renowned as a peerless warrior. <laughs> so do you want me to talk to them? Honey Sen is now accompanying you. Alright, here we go. G pose with Connie. If I can ever adjust correctly. Hello? There we go. I have to G pose every single time there's an accompany thing happening. She runs so funny. Hello. Try as they might to live out their lives in no normal, it is un there is an unmistakable tension in their every movement. Oops. The seed seers are sitting pretty with their guards and finery. What do they care if a beastie is running amok? They'll be fine. That's why they're doing nothing while it hunts us. We'd be fools to trust our lives with those who don't care a whit. Aye, past time we went south. At least in old duh, they don't pretend to look out for the common man. Oh my, Elder Seed Seer. I was just, uh, er. See, this is very controversial, because honestly, the Seed Seers can be viewed that way by the player base for years now. That they just kind of sit there. <laughs> There's a lot I can talk about about how I feel about the Seed Seers. I promise you that we are sparing no effort in our hunt for Gleipnir. However, it will take time, and more may suffer before the beast is light low. Nevertheless, I ask that you take that you place your faith in me, if only for a while longer. I love the Twelve's Wood and her people with all my heart, and I will not let our enemy torment us forever. I I understand. A man's gotta give voice to his worries from time to time, I 
Nothing I want less than to abandon my home. I'll stick around for now. What do you have to say? I saw it. A gargantuan beast stalking the woods with horns the size of my leg. What's to stop it from coming here to fill its belly? Gleipnir will do no such thing, I swear. I shall see to it personally that the blasphemy does not come within a mom of this village. Keep heart, for brighter days lie ahead of us. Truly, Elder Seed Seer. Ah, uh, perhaps I let my imagination get the better of me. You are a beacon in these dark times. I pray you restore peace soon. I shall. You can be certain. Me, I'm distraught. I'm always distraught. A single scratch is enough to spell one's doom, they say. Nothing but to wait for death to come. How can we face a beast like that? Do not give in to despair, my friend. Know that I shall do all in my power to see us through this crisis. Hold fast to hope and encourage others to do so as well. I'll try, Elder Seed Seer. I will try. I know you've placed yourself at risk, leaving the safety of the city and coming here, and that means a lot to me and mine. I'll stay close to the Wailers and pray news of your triumph reaches us soon. Thank you. I promise that it will not be long. Ooh. What do we what do you have to say? That scene! Meanwhile, I need to stop shrimping. Will that be all for now, Elder Seed Seer? It will. I have done what I can to quell the unrest, but so long as Gleipnir lives, they will never be at peace. Simply lending an ear does wonders. Uh, I'm going to ask the second question. Do you doubt yourself? Nay, not in the slightest. The shortest path to a destination is often not the best, and today was a welcome reminder of that truth. Mayhap I should visit these settlements more often. Doubtless some here think of me as distant as the elementals. So rarely do they see me in the outer reaches. <laughs> wow, I can't believe she actually said this. Um, I actually remember reading a lot that some people in the fandom really are like, Hani Senna is so aloof and just so... Not does not aware of what the heck is going on in her own in nation. <laughs> you have served me admirably as protectors thus far, for which I am grateful. Yet, until we have found and laid Glipe near low, I must continue to impose upon your goodwill. Tis no imposition, Elder Seed Seer. You saved me from on the killing fields of Cartano. My life is yours, now and always. Your life is your own to command, but I thank you for your words and your conviction, which fills me with confidence that the path we walk is true. Even if that path takes us far afield, hmm, did I ever tell you that when I was a young student, I would often steal into the woods with a dear friend of mine, much to the chagrin of our teacher? Deep down, I suspect there's a part of me that yearns to wander where I should not. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> no more peace. Elder Seat Seer, word from the border. We've got ourselves a right bloody mess by the sound of it. What has happened... Per your earlier instructions, the whalers closed the roads to all travel while we scoured the woods for signs of Gleipnir. Now a group of locals are demanding to be let through into Thanalan. They're terrified by the sound of it, screaming about the creeping death and God knows what else. Despair grips their hearts. If it consumes them wholly, then we may have yet more blasphemies to contend with. I will speak with them. Wild rumors fuel their panic. And with truth and compassion, will I convince them to see reason and return to their homes? If anyone can, it's you, Elder Seed Seer. We're doing our best to keep them calm for now, but my man's words painted a grim picture. I pray you make your way to the border as quickly as you can. Speak with the Wood Whaler Sentry at the lower paths. Mm -hmm. 
Oops. <laughs> Goodbye. I don't want to do the fate. That fate's probably been around longer than Salix has been programmed into the game. All this stuff has been probably been around for years. It's always weird going through Realm Reborn areas. Let us through, damn you. We're standing here while the creeping death nips at our heels. You're telling us to die? Those rumors are false. The Elder Seed Seer herself sent word that the creeping death is not responsible for the recent incidents. You mustn't surrender pan to panic. Return to your homes while we deal with the threat and pay no heed to baseless stories. Stories? I've seen the dead with my own eyes. Don't tell me what isn't true. Well, what do you have to say? Hearken to me, my friends. I come before you now to assure you that the creeping death has not returned. Only those who have been wounded by the Gleipnir are in danger. And so, I beseech you to take shelter in your homes until the threat has passed. Leipnir, the beast I saw in the wood, we have to run. It could have followed us. You saw him? Where? Not far from here. Those glistening horns, those terrible chains, reaching out for, to drag you down to the seventh hell. We ran and ran and never looked back. But don't worry, it didn't catch any of us. No one's marked, see? That means, that means we're safe, right? But, but say we weren't quite fast enough. What then? Its horns and claws are where the poison resides, but even a scratch would be cause for concern. Oh my god. Even a little scratch. Then... And it's too late for me. Is that why my body feels like it's on fire? You told me the Blanches tripped you up. You said that's how it happened. You, you said. Oh, heavenly woods, guide us to the font of strength. May we drink from it and be made whole. What is she doing? I don't feel any better. Do it again. Do it again. She can't do Jack Diddley squat. Imagine a white mage being useless in story. Like a story white mage, not us, but like I can. It's really alarming when healing is useless in story. Conjury has no effect. There can be no mistake. This is Gleipnir's doing. Even so, I ask that you do not lose heart. Stay strong, for if we surrender to fear, the beast has already won. No, I don't want to die. Please, help me. No. We need to get rid of that. Get back! He was already good as dead anyway. Oh, lovely. It spreads worse. This spreads worse than the actual disease. Despair made manifest. Twelve forfend. Is there not that can be done for these poor souls? We've made it very clear that we can't do anything. At least in this point of the MSQ. Not but one thing. I know. I know. We must lay them to rest. Contain the threat. Ah, 
I'm surprised it's in a solo duty. Well, that'll probably be level 90. Anyway, uh, Connie Senna continues to disappoint me. This honestly could have been prevented. <laughs> Hello, reality. But yeah, uh, I am... I don't know how to feel about this. This whole mess could have been absolutely... If there were much more quicker acting, could have been prevented. Like, the guy who was sick was obviously a goner. But the other guy at least could have been saved. That's what people have been saying about Connie Senna for the past seven years. <laughs> they are at peace. Would that it had not come to this. I was powerless to prevent it. You did all that you could, Elder Seed Seer. Is that what's going to happen to us? Is there no hope? What you witness was the fate of those who fall to deepest despair. It feeds upon grief and anguish, and it is more deadly than Gleipnir itself. But, as I swore to you that we shall defeat the blasphemy that haunts our homeland, so too do I swear that despair will not be the end of us. Keep the faith and look to the horizon, for brighter days will come. As you say, Elder Seer. As you say. Gleipnir is not here, and so you are free to return to your homes, but I urge you to take care on the path back. We will, Elder Seed Seer. The storm has passed, but a darker tempest roils in the distance. So long as the specter of despair looms, the people will struggle to take any words of comfort to heart. We will see more tragedies like this. The elementals, too, cry out for a solution. The longer we struggle to resolve this crisis, the more innocent lives we put at risk. Raya O oh said we need to turn to the elementals for assistance, and I know that she was right. And so, I will seek audience with the Great One. However, there are preparations I must attend to first. I shall make the proper ablutions at the Lotus Stand. Pray return to the Adder's Nest and await my summons. Wow, this is literally a Realm Reborn White Mage happening all over again. We are, we are gonna talk to the giant tree. Except this time, um, I won't be screwed over because the level 50 White Mage crest quest, you're kind of screwed over. Because you don't have Benediction yet to, to help protect the tree. Um, the way you were supposed to do it back in Aroma Born days was you, you were supposed to use Protect and Stone Skin to mitigate damage on the tree, but you didn't have that, so the quest was made harder for White Mages nowadays. <laughs> Despite our best efforts, we have been unable to prevent further loss of life. I foresee even greater hardship ahead. As we press on, we mustn't forget the words of the Elder Seed Seer. We must strive to remain undaunted in the face of fear. She is preparing for her communion with the Great One. When the time is right, she will come upon us both. Alright. The tired eyes and slumped shoulders of the Keeper of the Entwined Serpent... <laughs> Ugh, excuse me, I burped. <laughs> the situation has worsened since we last spoke. Gleipnir grows bolder in his attacks, and the Conjurers are spread thin in their efforts to attend the victims. Moreover, we are no closer to finding a means to counteract the Blasphemy's poison. We have no choice but to wait until death claims them. Some are overwhelmed by hopelessness, becoming mad beasts that lash out at their former countrymen. Such tragedies all too easily beget the further tragedy. As bereaved loved ones are in turn overcome and share in the same hard fate. The people speak of these incidents with hushed whispers, afraid that any moment a monster might appear within their midst. If we could find a cure for the blasphemy's poison, Indeed, let us hope that the Elder Seed Seer's efforts to enlist the aid of the Elementals are successful, and that united, we may at last cleanse the Twelve's Wood of this evil at, at last, for once and for all. Urgent news, Salix. Gleipnir is ambushed a party of Wood Whalers. They are engaged with the Blasphemy near the Guardian Tree, where the Great One slumbers. Has it divined the Elder Seed Seer's intent? 
Is it attempting to prevent her from communing with the elementals? Bah, in any event, we cannot let Gleipnir harm the tree. The Elder Seeds here bade us rendezvous with her at Sorrel Haven. Let us leave at once. Oh, excuse me. I was trying my best not to sneeze during that. I probably should have taken a teleporter, but I don't care. And we are off once again. The light I haven't seen lightning weather here in a while. It's kind of perfect. The, the weather I've been having lately for these quests have been very perfect. Excuse me. Okie dokie. Surveying. There is no other sign of the blasphemy? Oh, they all turned. Oh my god. No one judge my gunbreaker rotation, it's not good. Y'all are way too late. <laughs> I see. I think I know what happened here. Though, I pray that I am wrong. There is no sign of the Wood Wailers save their arms and armor. Seasoned warriors would never cast aside their equipment, but here it lies, and I see not a single body. In the face of certain death, even the bravest among us can succumb to despair. Before the blasphemy's poison took them, they transformed. Gleipnir could not have gone far. He may be watching us even now. Be on your guard. The air is thick with corruption. If the wood whalers come to a man, then we can expect a hard fight. Though I dread the thought of hurting our brave soldiers, we cannot allow the creatures they have become to roam free. Let us form two groups to more quickly track down and cull the beasts. Once we have finished, we shall regroup under the bows of the guardian tree. Oh my god, we actually have to take kill them all. Alright, well here we go. I've kinda I feel so bad. Oh no trace. A hostile presence. Goodbye. That's one location. I imagine there will be more here. You got white mates to 90? Congrats. That's another roll. To do roll quests on. But seriously, getting everything leveled is such a pain in the hiney. I myself have one of every roll leveled up. And the last job I'll be leveling for a very long time is Summoner. I do not plan on leveling any more alt jobs for a very long time. Oh my gosh, these Malvaros are so huge, I forget about them. They're horrifying looking. But yeah, I just want to be able to do all the roll quest stuff, so... Gotta get that 
Diable artifact gear. Oh, this gives me so many memories of White Mage. Level 50. This is the great tree. The great one. I would do DPS. DPS take a long time to level first. Alright, what you got, girl? Our work is done then. The loss of so many brave souls is traffic. Tragic. But know they are at peace and the guardian tree is safe. Let us take comfort in that. But I pray that the Great One will hear my plea. I like taking screenshots of my gunbreaker wool. You messed up. What's wrong? Do they not accept that phone service anymore? The Great One is filled with fear, an all-consuming fear unlike any I have ever felt. It spoke unto me. His words were clarion. Drive the evil away. Drive the evil away. I can think of naught else, and so... We will not receive the aid we seek, not until we can dispel the dread that claws the at the forest's very heart. No, that was our last hope. What an absolute waste of our time. We are not alone. <laughs> Oh my god, it's like a behemoth. I never saw, um, never saw the transformation for this. I think we only saw Ishgard and the, um, Ishgard and, um, Alamigo. I think we only saw those two. There can be no mistake. This is the profane beast, the blasphemy that has mired the Twelve's wood in despair. Hypnir. Stay back! Oh, a healer bubble. It makes for the Guardian Tree. We must stop it. Girl, that bubble ain't gonna do jack. The poison. You mustn't let it touch you. Such fearsome strength. What are we supposed to do? <laughs> oh my god, it's like a Blasphemy Behemoth. Oh, the Echo. What a good time for this to pop up. <laughs> My assumption is that the Echo is usually instant. In accordance with our covenant, we Pajal have been blessed by the Elementals. From the moment we are chosen, we are bound to act as mediators between man and nature. The most skilled among us are honored as seed seers, and it is their duty to guide Gridania through times and poor and prosperous. I cannot say which of you will be found more worthy. In my estimation, you both have potential to become seed seers. Of that, I become more certain by the day. Young Connie Senna, huh? I wonder what's on her mind. And her friend. But I don't want to be a seed seer. I never wanted to be a Pajal either. I never asked for any of this. 
But why can't I live a normal life like anyone else? How come I don't get to grow old? Why was I cursed with these ugly horns? I like them. Maybe we didn't choose to be born this way, but I don't think it makes us that different from anyone else. It's a rare gift. A blessing, even. If we can use it to help others, then we should. Don't give up on becoming a seed seer, Connie. We'd all be worse for it. A blessing? I... I never thought of it that way. I suppose I just hated not having a choice, but... Maybe you're right. Makes me wonder... Knowing the writing to this game, it makes me wonder if this boy is our blasphemy right here. But my question is, what could have happened to him to transform into this? Also, I'm pretty sure Connie Senna might be poisoned. Connie... He left. But I wonder, did he poison her? If so, I would feel really bad. For both of them, if they knew the truth. <gasps> I'm getting exhausted over here. Matron is merciful. The Elder Seed Seer has fallen unconscious, but otherwise unharmed. The blasphemy must not have touched her, for I do not see the telltale mark of poison. Still, I am no healer, and she should be looked after by those who are. I shall carry her back to Gridania. We must leave before Gleipnir returns. Await me at the Adder's Nest. I imagine that what happened was that she just fainted from the shock of having her barrier broken. And we're back in Gridania, thank goodness they teleported me back. I'm also glad we're already done with 87. We're going at a good pace. Allow me to thank you again for your assistance. The Elder Seed Seer has been delivered into the care of Isumiyan, and by the grace of the Elementals, she will make a full recovery. In fact, she has already regained consciousness, but is not yet allowed to receive visitors. We can but wait for now. It was useless! I could do nothing while the Elder Seed Seer faced Gleipnir alone. I was to be her shield, that I stand before you while she lies abed is proof of my failure. She wouldn't have wanted you to throw your life away. We have no way of guarding ourselves against this thing right now. You truly are the hero of whom the bards sing, aren't you? You've suffered terrible trials, yet you still stand tall and resolute. Oh, I thank you. I did the bard job quest. <laughs> thank you for your counsel. How close I came to forgetting the lessons of my past. I've actually done every single Gridania job quest, crafter and combat. <laughs> I've spoken of it to few. Truth be told, it brings me to shame to recall it. I fought at Cartano, not as a soldier of the Eurasian Alliance, but as a conscript of the Garlean Imperial Army. Clad in armor and match attack, another drop in a sea of pitiless metal. You grow numb to the violence and the killing out of necessity. It becomes routine. Work to earn your next meal. But then the moon shattered and the dragon emerged. And when the dust had settled, I was another body clinging to life amongst the fallen. I remember staring at the burning sun above, growing weaker, wondering if the heat Orion Eurzian's blade would finish the job. But it wasn't death that came, but salvation. I was delivered from my well-earned fate by the Elder Seed Seer. She deigned to save a man who once barred seal against her people. Her kindness didn't end there. Once my wounds had healed, she had welcomed me with open arms. Never did she regard me with distrust, 
nor did she ever make me feel obligated to repay my debts. She was a white mage through and through. She fought not to take life, but to safeguard it. Through our friendship, I came to see the wisdom in that distinction, and I pledged my remaining years to her service. I would have accomplished nothing to throw myself against Gleipnir in vain, and even if there was profit to be found in the sacrifice, she would not abide it. Your words serve to remind me of this. We will defeat the Blasphemy Eye, but we will do so without forsaking that which we hold dear. This, I swear. We did it. That was a very interesting background they decided to add to an NPC who otherwise looked so irrelevant in the MSQ. <laughs> I kind of wish the Elizabeth lady was here. Salix, the Elder Seed Seer has grown strong enough to receive visitors. Come, we must go to Stillgate once more. Oh, we need to go to the Conjurer's Guild. This is the first time I think in a while I've had to run around. Make sure you do the holiday event, gamers. I already got it done off of stream because I did not care for the story. <laughs> they have not impressed me with event stories in a very long time. Since, well, I didn't know the Rising and Final Fantasy XV and Dragon Quest even were pretty okay. Dragon Quest, I say, is okay because it was short. <laughs> very, very short. Bunny boy. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, where's my cutscene? Hello. Oh, wait, is that... Is that the girl from the Conjurer quest? <gasps> it's them! I skipped all those cutscenes. I... Do not really care for Godbird. <laughs> Elder Seed Seer, it fills my heart with joy to see you in better health. I am gladdened by your presence as well, my friend. And lest you wonder, know that the conjurers found no trace of the poison in my humors. If you are ready, I would resume our search of Gleipnir. They may be up to the task, but you are not. It is one thing to engage in conversation, but another to go gallivanting about the Twelve's Wood hunting a blasphemy. I am aware that yet you are a conjurer of surpassing skill, and would not presume to gainsay your judgment, but have my wounds not healed? Those visible to the naked eye, perhaps, I worry that the strain of your communion with the Great One has taken its toll in ways we may have struggled yet to struggle to perceive. The Great One is a being of purest ether, and you were exposed to its unbridled despair, its raw terror. There may be consequences. I am aware of that, but Gleipnir must be stopped. Until the blasphemy is laid low, people will continue to die. How am I to carry out my dear duties cloistered here? How am I to deliver the forest and its people from its this despair? It is your duty that the man you remain. I understand your frustration, but if you were to fall in battle, if your guiding light were bare to you bear were to fade, then all of Gardania would be lost. Rest, Connie. Rest and gather your strength so that when the time comes, you are fit to do what must be done. In the meantime, trust in your allies. You are right. That said, I see no reason I cannot join in planning our next step. As you said before, conversation is quite unlike gallivanting about on a hunt. I guess we're gonna con converse then. Also, reality, um, you want that question answered? Uh, wait until the Alliance raids. <laughs> as far as we know, the Twelve... Um, all reside here. S something like that. <laughs> the sp their spirits reside here or some BS like that. I don't know. But yeah, um, maybe we'll get that question answered in the Alliance Raids. <laughs> Our encounter with Gleipnir has made it plain that we cannot hope to triumph over it as we are. 
Only with the Great One's power can we achieve victory. When the seventh umbral calamity was nigh, the Great One committed a portion of its boundless strength to extend a barrier over heaven and earth, the Ermine Hedge. Thus was the Twelve's Wood spared the worst. If we could convince it again to lend us even a small measure of that power, we would not need to fear the poison. Therefore, we should pour our efforts into placating the elementals, that we might earn their favor. We're gonna have to do the quieting again. Oh my god. <laughs> this is White Mage quests all over again. Ah, of course. You are the inheritor of Atoa's will. Raya O oh and Arun praised the wisdom and bravery you displayed that day. Indeed, we were very nearly overrun by the creatures the Great One called to its defense, but this time is different. The Great One quakes with such fear that it cannot even bear to behold its enemy, let alone fight it. And so, we must find a way to dispel the fear that binds it and reassure it that together we can defeat Gleipnir. Only then will it hearken to our words. I think, too, that we must gain a greater understanding of what drives Gleipnir. It, se it seems to bear a resentment towards the Elementals, the Great One in particular. Why? I have pondered this question myself. Lingering memories of the person Gleipnir once was may be responsible. Reports from Rads at Han suggest this is likely the case, in fact. If we can but ascertain the original identity of the blasphemy, but where are we to even begin our investigation? You were granted a vision of Gleipnir's past, and I was there. Then, then I may know who he is, or was. As do I, the boy who trained alongside Khan E in her youth. Yes, Sura Supin, after all these years. Is this what became of him? Ah, you mentioned him briefly before. Were you close? Aya sure was Pajali, like me. But he had never known his parents and devoted himself wholly to his duties. He embraced the role the forest had bestowed upon him, and truth be told, he was a much better student than I ever was. A fair assessment. Despite your esteemed heritage, you never took to my lessons as well as he, ever dreaming of the outside wood. Stealing off into the woods more times than I can count, I could not keep watch over you at all hours, not even if I tried. <laughs> the Elder Seed Seer, a rebellious spirit, could scarce imagine it. I resented being a Pajali. It was inconceivable to me that I could not live among the others, and I did not scruple to express my misgivings to Isumiyan at every opportunity. Ayasura was a pillar of constant support. It was thanks to his encouragement that I at last embraced my destiny and resolved to use my gifts for the greater good. We would become seed seers together, I believed, until one fateful day when we were gathering herbs in the forest at Isumiyan's behest. We met a wanderer hailing from a distant land who told us his beloved was with child and that we had tra he had traveled to Gridania to beseech the Great One for a painless birth. He had asked us to guide him to the guardian tree. However, entries into such sacred places was not ours to permit, and there was something odd about his demeanor besides. With regret, I refused him, but... Ayasura was loath to turn away a goodly stranger in need. He agreed to guide the man, and despite my protestations, I ran to Isumiyan as fast as I could, and together we made haste to the guardian tree. We found the man motionless on the ground, having succumbed to the Great One's rage, and next to him was Ayasura, alive and unconscious. In time, he recovered and related to the whole story. 
In truth, the man had been an adventurer, a seeker of wealth and glory, and as he had knelt to make his false supplications, he lunged forward to tear a branch from the guardian tree. He was yet a child, and Aesthera had no inkling of the darkness that could dwell within men's hearts. He learned the lesson that day, but the price he paid for it was great indeed. The Great One stripped Aesthera of his horns, and with them, the right to call himself a bad jaw. I was forced to expel him from the Fane. I never saw him again, nor heard a word of what had become of him. Though not for lack of trying, despite his hardships, did he remain in the Twelve's Wood all this time, I wonder. He dreamt not else but becoming Seed Seer, of a life in service to the people and the forest. He knew the weight of responsibility and was eager to bear it, but he was deprived of that purpose by the very elementals he loved, and yet he did not lose that will to serve, I suspect, and instead resolved to watch over the Twelve's Wood at his own way. I shuddered to think what could have hastened his transformation into Gleipnir, as if his life was not harsh enough. In our final converse concert conversation, Ayasura confided in me that he would search for a means to calm the Great One's rage and earn absolution. To that end, he said that he would seek the counsel of the Mughals. They have called the Twelve Sword home far longer than we have, and so none are more like to have knowledge of its most hidden workings. That comes as no surprise. He would not give up so easily on his dream. Even if the Mughals know not of Ayasura, they may be able to keep us in other ways, help us in other ways. Will you travel to the Bramble Branch in my stat stead, Salix? Have faith they will accept you with their characteristic aplomb. I I don't know how to feel about this, mostly because of the time gap. Yeah, I did the Light Mage quest. Yeah, um, the twelve. The elementals seem like these giant crybabies, don't they? I kind of wonder if the elementals, the twelve, if all of that will be talked about more. Especially during the alliance raids. We don't really know that much about them. And now that we're, we've gone beyond like primals in the universe, we can only, we only have so much more of this world to explore. Including the twelve. Bow. Surely you can see that I am armed. If it's all the same to you, we don't want whatever you want. Quite a peculiar face you have, Kupo. Familiar, too. You wouldn't be the selfsame warrior who gave the legendary Mogul's Guard what for, would you? Salix, was it? Aha, it's an honor to meet ya. Allow me to thank you personally for bringing that silliness to an end. Pukwa Pika's the name, and what brings you to our neck of the Twelve's Wood? Why, what a pleasant coincidence. We were just discussing how we ought to go about calming the elementals, Kubo. That blasphemy with the dreadful horns has got them on the edge, and for a good reason. I've had to ask my personal guard here to sleep with one eye open. In case you haven't noticed, the beast corruption has been spreading all throughout the Twelve Wood. Needless to say, we've all got to stand up and put the Twelve's Wood to rights. Raya O suggested that the Mughals contribute by scouring the forest for even the smallest signs of taint, Got to cleanse it before it even gets out of hand, you know? T difficult and time-consuming work, but if it's in service to the forest, then we'll gladly do it, Kupo. Hey, I know you. You're the adventurer who gave me some of my finest scars. <laughs> Kudi Koop of the Mongols Guard. No hard feelings about the whole hail to the king Kupo bit, I hope. Oh my god. Not going to call for a rematch either, in case you're worried about that. Raya O and the others cured us of our tempering, and afterwards sat us down for a stern lecture. No more calling upon the great good king Mogomog 12 for us. May he forever remain unsummoned in his royal grace and splendor. 
Uh, clearly, uh, we have not reached level 90 MSQ at this point. Indeed, and what better way to make up for past indiscretions than to serve the realm? Even now, our kin scour every ilm of the Twelve's Wood, and we would not be remiss to do our part. This Elizabeth's glam is so good. We would be overjoyed to have a hero such as you helping us as well. If you're willing, something tells me that you have a sharp eye for the taint we seek out to cleanse. Can we count on you, Kupal? All right, here we go. We are once again on a realm reborn white mage. Hello, it's high up. What? What do you mean it's high up? What are you doing up here? <laughs> oh, you were able to make your way up here after all. I was worried you would be stuck. Apologies for leaving you behind, but it's so easy to forget that our ki your kind like wings, Kubo. Now then, where is it? I think they either expected you to climb this or fly. There, to the south. Let us cleanse that festering taint at once. And we are off. Follow the flying people. <sighs> oh my god, everyone's doing the job quest stuff. Can I at least get my turn? Where's this thing? You. Wow, thanks for helping me, guys. Thanks. You know, an MSQ people would actually help you with these. But no. How rude. Who is blowing up my DMs? I'm muting this. That was some fine work, Kupo. I dare say it's even better shaped than it was before. The others are doubtless glittering about, stamping out corruption wheresoever it veers its hideous head. If I were the Great One, I would be applauding our efforts. Well, insofar as such a being without hands can clap, I suppose. <laughs> How goes the tank cleansing, cootie coop? Coop de coop. I did what I could, but I swear, as soon as I finished with one area, two more started manifesting with a fresh taint. The force ability to heal itself is waning, and the sickness is spreading too fast for even a legion of Moogles to manage if we don't come up with a better solution soon. The situation is even more grave than we imagined, Kupo. Oh, what do we do? We should maintain our efforts to purify the forest regardless, but since there are so many of us, we must stop. We must also help the forest remember how to help itself. A brilliant idea, I think. How do we go about that? Well, I was just getting to that part, Kubo. We, um... I've got it! We performed the friending! The what? The friending? What in the name of good King Mughal Mog? So the twelves that may he shower us with love and compassion and couponuts is that. Truth be told, I couldn't remember the ancient rite's name, so I just made something up on the spot, Kupo. Well, let's forget about that for now and move on to the stuff I do remember. Oh god, these Mughals are ancient. It's an old, old ceremony. First performed when the nation of Gridania was but a spark of an idea of a random thought in its founders' heads. They knew that if they were to establish a home within the Twelve's Wood, that they would first have to entreat the Elementals for permission. So, a mage in their company found and cleansed a few sources of foul ether, planting saplings in their place, and consecrated the soil with a prayer to show the forest the purity of their intentions. The Elementals were so taken with his display that not only did they permit his people to settle within the forest, they also bestowed him upon him their blessing as proof of their new covenant, Kupo. 
Ah, I remember now. The Gridania still honor the agreement to this day. For every tree that is cut down, a sapling is planted. So, if we follow history's example, we can soothe the forest pain and also nourish it with new life. That's right, Kupo. Oh, but I wasn't finished with the story. Remember the mage who planted those sacred saplings? It was none other than Joran, sire of I Oak Pota, the very first Pajal. From that day forward, the elementals would bless a select few hearers with horns, favoring them with their fellowship. The Pajal were exalted by the peoples of the Twelves Wood. Even we Moogles look upon them with awe, and that's how it all began. Hmm, something wrong, Kupo. You have a strange look on your face. Gleipnir is a poison is particularly deadly against yours. How how dreadful, Kupo, but what exactly are you saying? Hmm, so the man you may think had become Gleipnir was a Pajal stripped of his blessing, and the blasphemy kills with a poison that manifests symptoms that resemble those of the creeping death. I feel sorry for this Aesura, to love the primals, only to be shunned by them, to be surrounded by the beauty of the Twelveswood, and know that he was forever an outsider, all for a child's mistake. That despair could have easily caused him to turn, and this poison that preys upon those that bear the Twelveswood's blessing, the cures, just like the creeping death once did, might be another manifestation of that despair. That would explain the elemental's unease, Kupo. We must redouble our efforts to plant saplings or they might never speak to us again. Indeed. We, well, first things first, we must gather as many saplings as we can. Salix, wait for us at the adder's nest and make ready for a long and back-breaking day. Um, honestly? Honestly? What the hell are we doing? We're planting trees? I, I don't know. I have not been impressed that much by the, by these role quests, this role quest line so far. I literally like the moment that final cutscene there, saplings. What the hell are we doing here? Welcome back, Salix. Did the Mughals have any insight into our problems? A reenactment of the ceremony which laid the foundation of Gridania. A fitting plan given the gravity of the threat our nation now faces. As ever, is there much work? There is much work to be done before we can even begin. While the Mughals gather saplings, we shall continue to scour the Twelve's wood for new beasts that must be purged. Let us pray that the Elder Seed Seer regains her strength quickly as well. For now, take a rest, my friend. There's a rare indulgence these days, and one you've earned a thousand times over. 89. Gleipnir has not been seen since our last encounter. This brief respite may be our best chance to quell the Great One's terror. I know I wasn't going to do this. I, I should have done this earlier. I need to be right back. Alright, I'll be right back. We are on the second to last tank roll quest, if anyone cares for spoilers on that for N Walker. Uh, I have not been impressed so far though, so I wouldn't worry about it. I have yet to really be impressed by Connie Senna here. Okay, make your way for the saplings, Kupo. We've had plenty of practice cultivating our gardens, so selecting the most robust ones was a simple matter. That was the hardest work, so you can help us with the easy part. If you see a spot of corruption, cleanse the taint and plant the sapling in its place, Kupo. Do it enough times and the Great One is sure to understand that we're doing all we can to heal the forest, which ought to brighten its mood. We will see it at the East Round. You should have no tr oh, excuse me, trouble taking care of the rest, Kupo. Your efforts are much appreciated. We will begin without further delay. I trust you will not object to my company. I dare say healing the forest is one task for which I am more qualified than most. <laughs> Here she is, the lady herself. 
Elder Seedseer, are you trained well enough to leave the city? I should like to think that I have been for some time. In any event, Isumi has finally grown tired of my objections and ceased his attempts to detain me further. Allow me to be the one to consecrate these saplings. It would be an honor to offer words of thanks to the forest for its bounty. Please do, Kubo. A prayer from the Elder Seed Seer herself will surely hasten their growth from a tiny sapling to a towering tree. Such is my hope. As Joran did before me, I shall approach the Great One in friendship, that it might see through the veil of fear that which blinds it and remember our covenant. You skipped? Did you skip all the roll quests, Wilson? Even the healer one? I love the healer one. The healer one is probably... Well, I've only done two so far, this one and the healer one, but I love the healer one. Let us begin by cleansing all trace traces of corruption in the central shroud. The green tier. Impressive, Kupo. Not even my own keen eyes could spot corruption from such a distance. It is but one of many talents I owe to the elementals. Well then, shall we be on our way? You've done magic DPS, melee DPS, and tank? Yeah. This tank one was not very impressive so far. I've, I've been told even the melee one isn't okay, and even some people didn't even like the magic one. However, I am biased, so I probably will end up liking the magic one, probably. But yeah, I think generally the ones people like in general is Fizz Ranged and um, Healer. I love level 90 Black Mage. I've been doing high-end content on level 90 Black Mage, and I need to remember how to plan fights. <laughs> I need to remember how to plan fights better. There's so much I can do to be very optimal in fights, but it requires a lot of planning. We're literally out here pretending to be a realm reborn white mages. Like, I know this probably doesn't matter. This should have been the healer roll quest line, but also it probably doesn't matter to people who haven't played white mage, but this is literally what you did to be a white mage. Yeah, Black Mage will only get better with familiarity to content. For example, Leyline's optimization, which is even more of a pain in the hiney now. Because you're trying to line yourself up with raid buffs now, which is not fun for Black Mage. In gratitude for your boundless blessings do I offer this gift. May it nourish you as you nourish us. Oh, wait, it's this music. Dude. At last, the earth is cleansed. There is a settlement not far from here. We should tell them of this sapling. Bid them to watch over and keep it safe from harm. Did it do anything? <laughs> this is so a Realm Reborn White Mage. We even got a Lancer here. Silent Arbor. There is something foul that impedes the flow of the ether. Let us hurry. I love... Which tank did you level, Wilson? I leveled up Gunbreaker. I love Gunbreaker so much. I am not a tank person at all. I tried tanking EX2. I've, I've 
killed the entire party with a cleave. With a cleave. I am basically never taking that again. The injury has begun to heal, and our next destination lies to the north. Near Hurstmel, I believe. It is faint, for we are far from the source. Nevertheless, I am certain it is there. Come. Um, <clears throat> you should try level 90 content. You get your capstone move. I honestly forgot what John Breaker's capstone move at 90 even is. What do I get at 90? Oh, nothing. <laughs> I thought I got something at 90. What was it? Yeah, what do I learn at 90? Wait, do you learn nothing at 90? What? I guess I was wrong. <laughs> it's the AoE. Oh, double down? It was not even in the traits menu, though. It's not even here. It is not here at all. Oh, wait, there it is. <laughs> I looked at the bottom. I literally tunneled vision. Why is it like this? Wait, no, it's not. Yeah, there's no level 90 thing. Oh, wait. Oh, I went to the... Oh, that. There we go. Double down. I, w I, t I did tunnel vision. <laughs> See, I hate the way they have this formatted. They should just mishmash it all together and not do whatever nonsense that is. But yeah, I love Double Down. Optimizing Double Down is um my biggest trouble, though. I don't know. Obviously, I should be using it during No Mercy, but also... Gunbreaker has such an obnoxious rotation burst window, like every single- From what I saw in the balance, you basically have a different rotation every single minute. <laughs> to be optimal. It's here? In the middle of the settlement? Yeah, look at the balance. The balance has a bunch of Gunbreaker resources out right now. Except it might change in 6.05. Honestly, the biggest problem is uh, the No Mercy. No Mercy's uh, really short. So try. Tis fortunate that the corruption here is faint. A simple prayer should suffice to clean the soil, after which we may plant the sapling. Since no other disruptions in the etheric flow, which leads me to believe the moguls have already seen to the remainder. Indeed, the twelves would sighs with a contentment I have not felt in a long while. But will it serve to placate the Great One I cannot say, not until we visit the Guardian Tree. Hello? 
Excuse me, but you're the Elder Seed Seer, aren't you? What brings you all the way to our village? Corruption and that had balance upset the balance of the ether, but that we have since cleansed with prayer and saplings. Thus has the Twelveswood reclaimed a measure of peace. You... You've been planting trees? We have. The elementals have suffered much as of late, and with these offerings we endeavor to raise their spirits. Elder Seed Seer, I've got to protest. What if your people's spirits, we who dread every step we must take out of doors? Yeah. <laughs> that terrible monster is still out there, preying upon innocent folk without rhyme or reason. And if it doesn't strike us dead where we stand, its poison will finish the job. I know you and you are all afraid that you and yours suffer still. However, it is under the auspices of the elementals that we may call the Twelveswood home, and they too cry out for deliverance. Even the Great One quakes with fear for the Blasphemy's continued existence. To ignore their plight is to invite greater tragedy for us all. Rest assured, however, that I have not forgotten the needs of the people. We bring comfort to the elementals and renew our sacred ties that we might enlist the aid of the Great One in combating Gleipnir and the suffocating despair it spreads. And so, I pray you continue to put your faith in your guardians and in me. Would that we could, Elder Seed Seer, but we've been dealing with death and sickness since before Gleipnir's coming. They say the creeping to death's nothing to fear these days, but we know better. One of ours caught it not long ago. We gave her the cure, had plenty in hand, and for a while we thought it would be alright, but by the time we realized it hadn't done a thing, it was too late to call a conjurer. It was a sad day for us when she passed, but for none more than so for her poor husband, Supin. He was beside himself with grief, and who could blame him? And then came Gleipnir to compound our woes. Supin, it cannot be. It can Do you speak of Aesura Supin? Aesura, no, no. S Supin was an odd one, but no one would mistake him for a Pajal. Supin wasn't even his real name. That'd be Elendia, but his wife was fond of calling him Supin for some reason, and it caught him on with the rest of us. I see. And what did Elendia look like? Well, I'd say he'd seen no more than thirty summers, kept to himself. Came and went with nary a word at times, though he... After he met his beloved, he became more of a fixture, friendly even. His wife was a sickly lass, but she had spirit, but the spirit's not enough to beat the creeping death. Pity we couldn't do anything for her. He had finally made a new life for himself here. Thank you for recounting Elendia's story, sad though it was. It has helped me to better understand how much you have all suffered. I promise that you will have cause to celebrate soon. Until then, I implore you again to place your faith in the elementals and in me. Together, we shall overcome this crisis. Despite what he said, I'm certain this Alentia was Aesura Supin. To think that he was living so close by all for all those years, searching for a new purpose and finding true love. Only to be robbed of that fulfillment, too. Where he's still a Pajal, empowered by the elementals, he could have saved. Could he have saved her? He would have dwelt on the question, night after sleepless night. I know I would have. Mayhap in the end he came to blame the elementals for his helplessness, for her death, and in despair was consumed. Aye, the animosity would linger, endure, and in vengeance would Gleipnir find his final purpose.
We have done all we can to show the Great One the purity of our intent. Let us hope that we will all be accepted as friends. Oh, we are going all the way back to the tree, huh? But I need to reread the last. I guess we're going to go back to the tree. <laughs> it was so sudden then. I don't know. It was something about the localization then that just felt so jarring to me. Our supplications cannot have escaped the Great One's notice. May it be enough to receive an audience. Oh, Great One. May I abide ever beneath your pose, embraced by your compassion, grace, and wisdom. Be still the fear within your heart, and know that I am your faithful servant. She's glowing! <laughs> oh, I almost got a good screenshot of Salix, I'm sad. She's floating! Feeling, passing corruption, refreshed, renewed green, lush restored. Child of child, covenant honored, friend, friendship, peace. It worked. The Great One speaks through the Elder Seed Seer. We were right to follow Joe Rin's example. Yeah, but now what are we supposed to do? We beseech your help to slay Leibnir. Profanity spawn, spares orphan, sadness and anger, sadness, death's prayer, one and all. Poison potent, wounds unmending, withering bark, no strength to share? After all we've done, you deny us. After all the Elder Seed Seer has endured, she has pledged herself to you, devoted her life to the Twelve's Wood. The people cried out for salvation, and she answered. The Elementals cried out for deliverance, and she answered. Only you can help us now. If you do not, then we are lost. She is lost. Please, I beg of you. We beg you. Oh. All these hearers. And they bring, they're bringing guards along, too. Is this really wise to have everyone here? What... what are you doing here? We have been dependent on the Seed Seers all our lives, blaming them whenever something goes wrong, without ever considering what we might do ourselves. Aye, but no longer. The Elder Seed Seer has gone to incredible lengths for her people, and so her people have come to return the favor. If her plea alone is not convincing enough, then we will raise our voices in support. We couldn't let them make the journey without protection, and that, and we couldn't let them put us to shame. We too have come to stand with the Elder Seed Seer and beseech the Great One for aid. We all want the same thing, don't we? Peace restored to the forest, so please, share what you can, however little. Do not forsake us. Do not forsake her.
Ani, Mubinin's child, walks with man, with elemental, keeper of ancient faith, and broken, cannot, will not, break faith, who man, render up, flesh. Then you, agree to help us. Flesh blanches, take and join the oldest elders, where new bond is one stir. Raise up two heavens of an symbol, our staff, all join, all bloom, all peace. Oh, she is exhausted. <laughs> Everyone here in Gridania is extremely in touch with nature. They have to be or else they'll get freaking decay warded. Well, my, my duty weighed heavily on my heart. So heavy that at times I scarce remember to breathe. For days and nights I worry that I would be found wanting. But by your faith and trust has the path forward been revealed to us. You came hither united in purpose, and bared your hearts before the Great One, I, Nagradania, is forever in your debt. A branch, huh? So, um, I really get why, sort of. The quest had to be about, oh, the elementals, oh, the elementals, but I kind of wish it went more into Gridania's people and um, the way some of the people are treated here, specifically the moon cats and the night elves, if you will. I don't know. I mean, this approach, if we're not done with the quest line yet, but mm, may I rely on you all once more? I bid you take these branches to every corner of the Twelve's Wood to join them to the eldest trees that would be those that we might finally win free of this despair. It shall be done, Elder Seedseer. We swear it. Once the trees have been bound together in spirit, I shall carry out the Great One's final instruction and cast its cleansing power all across Twelve's Wood. Yet, I must remind you, my friends, that Gleipnir still stalks the forest. It will not remain idle. It will attempt to stop us. Go with hope in your hearts, but do not lose sight of the danger. How are we supposed to fight Gleipnir if we can't even be touched by it lore-wise? I'm really curious about that plot point. I admit, for a moment I thought it wouldn't work, but the Elder Seed Seer moved not only the hearts of the people, but that of the forest itself. Her final task appears to be a bit more complicated than the Great One made it sound, and so she must scour the ancient text before the time comes, and consult with the Seed Seer Council to make sure all goes according to plan. We must be ready for Glightmere. Okay. But yeah, um, if you read Tales from the Twilight, there is a story about Connie Senna there. And, uh, she is genuinely human. Uh, she... She has plenty of fears, just like anyone else. Impeccable timing, as always, Salix. But moments ago, the Elder Seed Seer sent word to go and fetch you. She's already on her way, and will explain everything herself when she arrives. Hello. The children of the Twelve's Wood, both Mughal and Mandalike, have sallied forth, branches in hand, to the far reaches of the forest. Soon their task shall be completed. Though the shadow of death yet looms large, they do not allow despair in their hearts. 
They hold fast to their faith in a brighter future. We shall see their hope rewarded, and by the grace of the elementals, consign these grim days to memory. We need only succeed in summoning the ermine hedge. You may recall that the Great One's words were muddled and esoteric. I believe it was an instruction to carry out this esoteric ceremony in order to expunge the corruption befouling the forest, that the once tainted earth may begin to mend. For you see, when the ermine hedge was last formed, it was to protect the Twelve's wood from threats without. The Great One acted as a guardian, embracing the woods to shield him as the father would his child. On this occasion, we will call upon it to nourish and revitalize, as a mother nurses her child to make them strong against sickness. In a channeling the power of the elementals in this way, we can stem the spread of Gleipnir's poison, and the scars of its passing will finally heal. At least, that was what the Great One intended to say, I believe. The Seed Seer Council agrees with my interpretation and has permitted me to perform the ceremony. I have in my possession a single branch, the final one to be attached to the eldest tree of the Tawal's Wood. For all that you have done to aid us thus far, I ask that you accept this honor. Who better to set the final stone and the new foundation for everlasting peace? You have sacrificed so much for the sake of others. If we had even a sliver of your courage, we could move mountains. Oh girl, you don't even want to know about the stuff I've been through. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. We will find the tree of which I spoke in front of the leather workers killed. Let us depart. It's here? In the city? I did not expect that. <laughs> they really are hippie-ish guard, aren't they? So the eldest tree in all the Twelves wood is here? I never really thought about it. They might have mentioned it during the White Mage quest, but I sure don't remember. Look to the boughs above and you will see a spot where the bark has been discolored by age and the elements. There, you must affix the branch. I just hope that uh, Gleipnir doesn't decide to come into the middle of the city. Did we do it? You are quite the climber, and with all that, all preparations are now complete. Let us return to the Guardian Tree, and with the aid of the Great One, deliver salvation to the whole of the Twelve's Wood. Oh lord, here we go. I think this is where our solo duty is. Let me turn up the music. I feel like the music is really low. Uh, show me the solo duty. This is it, gamers. Is that a baby white mage? What is a reaper doing here? <laughs> if it is truly Aesir's lingering resentment for the elementals that drives the blasphemy, then it will surely come. For the sake of the man he was, I must try to appeal to his reason. But should I fail, then we will have no recourse but to fight. Regardless, this day we shall bid farewell to the life near. I have I have the extreme weapon on me and I have moon ward gear so I'm pretty sure I'll be fine even though there's an item level sync uh, most of my accessories are good everything I have should be above 550 so yeah this will indeed be not that bad for me
Though the branches of the guardian tree, the twelve's wood is become as one. In summoning the ermine hedge, every elm of these sacred lands will be imbued with the great one's nourishing ether. The forest will be empowered to heal itself, to break free of Gleipnir's despair. The ceremony is complex and delicate, and I must maintain focus. I trust you will do what is necessary to see that I am not interrupted. I'm gonna tank! <gasps> and I have a Dragoon to help me. Gleipnir comes! Defend the Elder Seed Seer! Oh, if Connie Santa can't do anything, can she do stuff? I was about to say, if she's focused the entire time, I, that would suck because Dark Knights can't heal themselves. <laughs> Every other tank can. Blasphemy. Light near. Why is it so silent? Are the elementals so deserving of your scorn? Do you hate me too for my horns? I knew a boy once. A boy who called them gifts. Symbols of the blessings he resolved to share with the world. Yet the beast before me now brings naught but misery and death, marks his victims with chains to bind and condemn, to share in its suffering. I was not there for you then, but I am here for you now, to unmake what you have become. Oh, it's the job quest music. I shall begin the ceremony. Stand fast and remember what we fight for. Oh my lord, here we go. Oh, water magic. Here she goes. I just need to make sure I have tank stance on. I'm it's been a long time since I've heard this music. Okay, uh Connie Senna. Here we go. The elder seats here must not be disturbed. How am I not getting poisoned? Oh my lord. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Creeping poison. We are all. Oh, they're so hurt. <laughs> the tank cleave by. Oh lord. Oh my god! Go, 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 go! They gave me plenty of time for that, actually. Wow. The right of the ermines, the summoning begins. Get away from her! Stop that! Come here. Hello? Am I gonna DC? Oh my god, I thought I was gonna DC for a second. Your ether wanes! Girl, what are you doing? Oh. Get away from her! He, he hates her. Like, hates her, hates her. He's, he just awkwardly sits here for a long time, doesn't he? It's kind of like haunting. The rite of summoning is halfway complete! Oh my lord, this guy is knocked out there. Keep life near at bay. Out of my ass now. Oh my gosh. Well, I'm only one tank. I can't think of both of them, can I? Oh lord. Well, at least I, only got, I got one. I could have tried to get both. Let me make sure he's not facing Connie Sunday. Bear Gleipnir's wrath for just a while longer. Oh 
should heal myself. Murky waves. Oh. The right of summoning is almost complete. Take them this way. Go, 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 go. Kill them all. What are you doing? Perfect. Come here. Come here, bucko. Art of light. Oh, Lord, this poison. Still good. Her ether's exhausted, girl. Her ether's exhausted now at all times. Oh, girl, please. Good boy. Hold down for the count. Oh, now is your moment, honey. Sato, you need to finish this. My prayers have been heard. May your embrace shield us and cleanse the corruption from our By home. the grace of the elementals! The poison's gone. Oh my lord, he's dying. Aurora. <laughs> of the crystal we can do it so as long as we're within the barrier we need not fear the lightning's poison however the battle is far from over steal yourselves well at least now we have a healer with us phew let me get this guy away from y'all good seekers Mechanics are happening! Yeah. Oh, she popped away in this. Hurts. I'll guide us through the most torrential storm. Oh, wait. <laughs> that was a multi stack. Alex, to me, we must group together. He's just spamming medica.
Thank you, Gunbreaker. Your damage always never ceases to impress me. Though sacred soil and azure skies may be your compassion, through sacred soil and azure skies may your compassion flow and swell to banish the darkness. Oh, it's level 90 content. You gotta know how to interject. You gotta know. What helps me is that I make my cast bars really big to help me interject. <laughs> so I can tell when I need to interject. So, receding terror. Blissful quiet. Blessing. Covenant preserved. Now and always. Child of child. Honor and gratitude unending. For we, as well, honor and gratitude unending, we could not have overcome the blasphemy without your aid. In your everlasting grace, I pray you continue to guide we children of the forest. In your boundless mercy, I pray you forgive the lost and forsaken who succumb to despair. is gone. To you, my dear Aesura, I promise I shall never forget your words of wisdom. Ours is indeed a gift and a blessing, and a duty to our people I will uphold. Until my final breath, this I swear. We have done it. And I'm in a fate. <laughs> Thank you, Salix. The great cleansing could not have succeeded without you. The blight has been purged, and the blasphemous beast which bore it laid low. The sacred wood that once held its breath in fear now breathes a long sigh of relief. I must return to Gridania and my regular duties as Elder Seed Seer, but I should be glad if you could not call upon me there. That is, if I impose upon you one final time. Thank you. I promise not to detain you at length. Let us meet again at the Lotus Stand. Mm. Yeah! I'm so glad we get to go to Nafaka's altar at least once. I love going here. But yes, um... Overall, this was an okay quest line. I see we're not done yet. Which is really rude. I thought we were going to be done by now. Alright, to the Conjurer's Guild. Take me there, I want to go there. Oh, an actual cutscene. The Great One's ether flows all throughout the Twelve's Wood, purging the last vestiges of Gleipnir's poison. The surviving wounded are no longer in danger and have begun to recover at long last. Aw, uh, this n we didn't even get to see um, the brother, but the brother's busy in MSQ. We have much cause to rejoice, in no small part because of you, my friend. On behalf of Gridania and myself, allow me to thank you yet again for your tireless efforts in bringing life near to heal. You went above and beyond the call of duty for the sake of our people and their homeland. You were inspiring to behold. And not for the first time, I must say. <laughs> Forgive me, Elder Seed Seer, but with this crisis behind us, I would suggest a new course of action. Oh, and what would that be? Rest. In all our time together, I have never seen you so hard-pressed. Surely you are weary and could benefit from a brief respite. 
he's, even she's surprised. If again, if you read Connie Senna's story, <laughs> you would know that she really does need the rest. I appreciate your concern, my friend, but I cannot, will not, one day perhaps, not this day. But Elder Seed Seer, recent events have given me cause to reflect upon my past, upon lessons I had once thought I had taken to heart. When I did not yet understand the duty with I, which I had been entrusted, when these horns of mine were but chains binding me to a destiny I did not choose. It was Ayasura who taught me to appreciate the gift I had been given, had he had not been there to help me to the proper path, where would my errant feet have taken me instead? He was perhaps the first, but he would not be the last. My brother and sister and countless other kind souls, through their words and their support, have also helped me continue to find a way forward, even when I thought there was none. It is by opening our hearts to one another that we in turn open new paths that we can conceive of greater opportunities and br brighter futures. All who live in Gridania are deserving of these gifts, and so I must always be there for them, and that together we may journey in safety through darkest night. Yeah, how about you try to be there for the moon cats and the night elves? <laughs> uh... Not exactly what I was going to say, but you know, we'll go with that for now. It is not without its appeal. I recall fondly the few occasions I have traveled beyond. Our time together in the turning mist had left a lasting impression. If there ever came a time when I need no longer serve as Elder Seed Seer, I should very much like to accompany you on another adventure. Regardless of what the future has in store, my present course is clear. So long as we Pajal serve as a bridge between man and elemental, Redania can weather any storm. And so, I will continue to walk hand in hand with my people and my patrons, along a path that we can discover together. Again, I, I kind of wish this questline was less elemental-centric and more people-centric. My... Yeah, that's that's my complaint. I love seeing Salix in the Gunbreaker Glam a lot. He looks he looks so handsome. Though the blasphemy is no more, there are still administrative matters to resolve. Yep, I'm going to Rads at Han. But yeah, that's basically that's basically how I feel about the Connie Senna quest line. It was fine. Like as somebody who sort of read the White Mage story, especially a Realm Reborn in Heaven's Ward, um, this was pretty much on the par with that. I just wish they made it more about the people in the Gridania and how they feel about one another than about the elementals. <laughs> But, you know, maybe one day Square Enix will actually, you know, talk about the merit in the room. One day. I don't know why I'm walking over here. I'm being dramatic. <laughs> but yeah, we have another roll quest line done. I can finally dye my Gunbreaker outfit. Uh, we'll see what color I dye it. Alright, hello. Yep, I have good tidings. Life near is slain. You brought joy to me in an otherwise uneventful day. Of course, I had complete faith in your success, but I've begun to worry ever so slightly when you did not return as quickly as I anticipated. I shall report your success to the envoys at once. And with that, we are done. And, and yeah, I can die my job gear. Achievement unlocked. More than death. And with that, I am done. I have been live for over two hours and I really should be getting to bed. <laughs> but yeah, I will see y'all in the morning. <laughs> Actually, no, not in the morning. I will be live sometime later on this week, either with some type of raid, Genshin, or the melee. I have decided I will be doing the melee roll quest next. If I, if, when I do the roll, another roll quest stream. But yeah, please look forward to it. I'm out of here. Good night.